Greetings again everyone, here we have another complex simultaneous equation to solve. So we have x plus y is equal to 8, which is equation 1. And in the other equation, we have x times y is equal to 48, so this is equation 2. Now as you can see from here, our solution for x and y is going to be complex. So please stay tuned with me to the end of this video until we solve our equation. So we said that we have equation 1 and equation 2. Now we're going to be solving our pair of simultaneous equation by using what we call the substitution method. That means that we're going to find the variable of x or y. In this case, we're going to choose y and set y to be equal to 8 minus x. So we set y to be the subject of equation 1. Then in using our substitution method, we look at equation 2. And what we're going to be doing is that we're going to sub the value of y into equation 2. So that means that we're going to have x times y. In this case, as we said before, y is going to be 8 minus x. So we have 8 times 8 minus x is equal to 48. Then we start by expanding our brackets. So we'd have 8 times x or x times 8, which is going to give us 8x. And x times negative x is going to give us negative x squared. We have that equals to 48. Then we can bring the 48 over to the left hand side of the equation. So we're going to have 8x minus x squared minus 48 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see from here, we have what we call a quadratic equation. In the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero we will actually configure our equation to have negative x squared at the front so we'll have negative x squared plus 8x minus 48 is equal to zero now we need to make our a value to be a positive value so we will divide the equation by negative one so that our a value becomes a positive so that means dividing our equation by negative 1 gives us x squared minus 8x plus 48 is equal to 0. Now this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve this by using our general formula for finding x. Our general formula for finding x is that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. We have all of that over 2 times a. In this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 8, and c is equal to 48. So all we have to do is to plug in these values into our quadratic formula. So then in doing so, we would have x is equal to negative b. We said that b is negative 8, so we would have negative, and in bracket, negative 8 plus or minus the square root of we know we have negative 8 we're going to square that then we'd have minus 4 times a which is 1 so 4 times 1 times c which is 48 so we'd have negative 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 48 all over a is 1 so we have 2 times 1 So just to simplify what we have here, so we would have a negative and a negative gives us a positive. So we have positive 8 plus or minus the square root of negative 8 squared is going to give us positive 64. And a negative 4 times 1 times 48 is going to give us negative 192. So we have 64 minus 192 and we have all of that divided by 2. Now this therefore means that x is equal to 8 plus or minus the square root of negative 128 all over 2. Now like I said before is that our solution of x and y are going to be complex solutions. So as we can see here we have a, the square root of a negative number which gives us a complex situation. We treat this by having the square root of 128 times the square root of negative 1. So we're just going to write our equation again all over 2 with this in mind. And then from there, we take it by saying x is equal to 8 plus or minus. We find two factors of 128. In this case, we choose 64 and 2. So we have the square root of 64 times the square root of 2. And as we know, the square root of negative 1 is our imaginary number. So that's going to be i. And we divide all of this by 2 again. Therefore, our solutions for x can be simplified as x is equal to 8 plus or minus. You know, the square root of 64 is 8. So we have 8 plus or minus 8 
times i times the square root of 2 and we have all of this divided by 2. Now this solution for x can also be expressed as 8 divided by 2 plus or minus 8i times the square root of 2 divided by 2. And then we divide both terms by 2, so 28 gives us 4. And again, we do the same here, 28 gives us 4. So we now have our final solution for x. So we have x is therefore equal to 4 plus or minus 4 times i times the square root of 2. So we now write our first solution for x. So our first solution for x is 4 plus 4 times i times the square root of 2. And now for the second solution for x, so we have the second solution of x here as 4 minus 4 times i times the square root of 2. So these are our complex solutions for x. Now let's go ahead and solve the value of y. So we have before is that y is equal to 8 minus x. So we will have one solution where y1 is equal to 8 minus x1 and another solution where y2 is equal to 8 minus x2. So we'll be using these equations for y to solve for the value of y. So here we start with our first value of y. We would have y is equal to 8 minus the first solution for x, which is 4 plus 4 times i times the square root of 2. And from here we say y is equal to 8 and we multiply the negative by what's inside the bracket. So we have 8 minus 4 minus 4 times i times the square root of 2 y is then therefore equal to 4 minus 4 times i times the square root of 2. Now we have for the second solution of y is that y is equal to 8 minus the value of x2 which x2 is 4 minus 4i times the square root of 2 so therefore y is then equal to 8 we have this negative times what's inside the bracket again so we have 8 minus 4 plus 4 times i times the square root of 2 simplifying this we have y then is equal to 8 minus 4 gives us 4 so we have 4 plus 4 times i times the square root of 2 so then we have for our first solution of y is that y is equal to 4 minus 4 times i times the square root of 2. And for the second solution of y is that y is equal to 4 plus 4 times i times the square root of 2. So what we'll do from here is that we'll record our solutions for x and y. So we'll have x1 comma y1 as 4 plus 4 times i times the square root of 2. We can put these in brackets just for separation and then we'll have comma they would have 4 minus 4 times i times the square root of 2. So this is x1 comma y1 and for solutions for x2 comma y2 we have that equal to 4 minus 4 i times square root of 2 for the x2 solution and for the y2 solution so we would have comma 4 plus 4 i times the square root of 2. Now what we'll be doing from here is that we'll verify our pairs of solutions. So please bear in mind our pairs of solution. We have x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. So we'll be verifying our solution and we do this by having our equation, equation 1 and equation 2. So we have x plus y is equal to 8. We'll start with that one first. So we will work with our first pairs of solution. So that have x1 plus y1 is equal to 8. So looking at the first pair of our solution, we would have x1 which is 4 plus 4 times i times the square root of 2. Then we would add that to first solution of y which is 4 minus 4i times the square root of 2. And then if we look here, we can cancel out 4i square root of 2. So one is a positive and the other is a negative and they would have 4 plus 4 so we know that 4 plus 4 gives us 8. So there we have it, our first pair of solutions is verified using our 
first equation. So that's equation one and we verify our first solution. Now the truth is it doesn't matter which pair of solutions we choose because the answers are the same but we can go ahead and verify solution two by using our second equation which is x times y is equal to 48. So we'll be using our second solution for x and y to find the value of 48. So x times y is equal to 48 and in this case we're going to choose x2 and y2. So the value of x2 is 4 minus 4i times the square root of 2 and the value of y2 is 4 plus 4i times the square root of 2. So these two brackets are multiplying each other and if we look carefully at them we will see something very interesting. The only difference is that one is a negative and one is a positive. So if we see a solution we have a minus b and a plus b it is the same as saying a squared minus b squared and this is what we call the difference of two squares so we'll be simplifying our expression of x times y in the form of a squared minus b squared the difference of two squares so this means that we're gonna have four squared minus and we're gonna square everything here so with our four squared we would also have our i being squared and the square root of two will also be squared and evaluating this expression should equal 48 as our solution so we go by saying 4 squared, that's going to give us 16 as 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Then we'll have minus 4 squared again is going to give us 16. And here we have i squared, which i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So cancel out the square root sign, we'll get negative 1. And canceling out know, the square root sign here, we'll just get 2. So we'll have 16 minus 16 times negative 1 times 2 is equal to 48. So going from left to right, we know what our order of operations stays, so we have to multiply first. So we'll have negative 16 times negative 1 gives us positive 16. So that means we'll have 16 plus, we know that 16 times 2 is going to give us 32. So we'll have 16 plus 32 is equal to 48. And look, there we have it. 16 plus 32 does equal to 48. And our second solution is now verified using equation 2. Now thanks again for staying tuned with me to the end of this video. I hope that this was very informative. If you want to see more content like this again, please smash that like button, share and subscribe to my channel for more updates. And until then, we'll see you soon. Thanks again and take care.